Hello everybody, this is Daryl, the Autocool guy, and today I'm going to talk about the Autocool 3 radiator fan controller. It's a pulse width modulated fan RPM temperature control. There's no programming to set up, just install this controller and drive. There's no relays in this controller to uh, burn out switching fan motors from a dead stop. This controller has soft start using modern solid state electronics and transistors. If you're using a controller with relays to start a DC fan motor, those relays will eventually fail from arcing from the huge inrush currents. You're going to see positive and constant radiator and motor temperature with the autocool controllers. This results in a constant engine temperature and you can preset the radiator temperature with the black knob that you see in the center of the controller. It ranges of about 140 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit on the radiator temperature. Uh, you're going to have constant radiator temperature towing up mountain roads with uh, trailers etc. Trailers, RVs, big large engine cars. Uh, temperature control loop with the uh, sensor on the offload port. In other words, you're going to see real positive engine or radiator temperature control by the sensor looking at the outflow port. So if you have a constant radiator temperature, you're going to have a constant engine temperature. You'll see the engine temperature gauge will be rock solid. Uh, this controller now we has a new cooldown timer preset at, uh, factory preset at 15 seconds. If you remove the, the knob and the, the cover and remove a small little jumper, you can uh, have it set for one minute for cooldown after, after you remove the ignition DC. You can save energy on the freeway because at high airflow uh, sp speeds into the radiator, you're going to have uh, the fans at or close to zero RPM. Uh, with this controller and the other autocools, you have no more engine overheating and slower stall traffic. You also avoid pressure and temperature peaks in your radiator by having a constant fan RPM. Uh, you'll notice too that the uh, if you use the relay type controllers, literally the metal in the radiator is going to be worked by the pressure uh, and temperature expansion and contraction. Uh, this controller is shipped with a standard breast sensor. However, if you have the plastic radiator, radiator outflow port, uh, you're going to need to order the inline sensor, the inline copper sensor, or the 3 8 inch brass plug. We have the new inline copper sensors in four sizes from an inch and a quarter to two inches. So as you see on, on this controller, we have fan A and B tied together. And the, uh, the by the black wire and the red wire goes to the fan return. You hook the fan positive to the battery positive and the fan return goes to the fan brass terminals on there and there's two ground big large brass found gr brass ground terminals that are hooked to ground. And the beauty with this controller when you start the engine is cold the fans really don't come on until the thermostat opens and the uh, warm to hot coolant starts to flow past the, the sensor then the fan starts spinning slowly and will gain RPM as the engine starts to warm up and the radiator warms up. So let's go over the, uh, the these eight pin terminal here that you see in front of you. Pin one is the battery terminal. Hook this to your battery with a little one amp fuse on the battery side. So if you short that wire, it doesn't burn burn the wire. This is the ignition wire. Hook it to your ignition system so when you start the ignition, the, the controller becomes active. The controller literally runs off of the battery, but the, the ignition turns the system on. Pins 3 is ground, 4 and 5 is a sensor. Uh, pin 6 is the AC enable terminal, so when you put 12 volts there, it's turning on the fans to a RPM you preset with this control right in here. There's a little potentiometer back there. Pin 7 is a failsafe, so when you tie failsafe to ground pin 8, it turns the fans on to full RPM. So let's let's turn the uh, we'll turn on the big HP power supply and we'll demo the system and the timer.
that sound there that sound is the HP power supply and um, we have the simulated sensor at a, at a real high, uh, low temperature so now we'll preset the temperature simulator at a lower temperature now we got to turn on the bench supply there we go so now the controller sees a nominal engine temperature with a simulator and uh, if we lower the temperature simulator you hear the fan slow down and if we go now we're raising the, in, the simulated temperature of the sensor higher and you can hear the fans increase Now what we're going to do Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate the, uh, the AC system So if I tie this terminal to 12 volts That's that when the fan AC is turned on Now if I ground pin 7, the fail safe is going to come on. You hear come on. And you'll find the uh, terminals here run very, very low, low currents. It's strictly voltage control. Now let's demonstrate the 15-second uh, timer. Get our, get our clock here set. So get your stopwatch out. Ready? Mark. Five seconds. Ten seconds. Fifteen seconds, right on the money. So there you go. By the way, uh, our controllers are carry a full year warranty. If you have any problems, give us a call. We'll fix them, replace them, whatever it needs to be done including all our other products, sensors, and this controller and other controllers made with stainless hardware to prevent rust. Well, there you have it. If you uh, have any questions or comments, give me a call or email. You can reach me just about seven days a week. Thanks for listening. TheAutoCoolGuy.com